Here Magnus Carlsen plays a very disrespectful move. Bishop takes h5, which was eventually a blunder. But even if you play an engine move like rook1 to a2 here, just no good after. Bishop takes g3, f takes g3, and f4 here. And if you try to take the pawn on f4 with e takes f4, this is no good after. Brilliant combination. Rook takes g3, king takes g3, and rook to g8 check. Now if you try to go to h2 here, this is just made in 2. So you have to go to h3 here then queen to g1 here and you have to protect the mate here so then queen to g2 but then brilliant bishop to f1 here now whatever you play you're getting checkmated here let's say if you just take the bishop on f1 just queen to g3 is a checkmate here and if you try to play just knight to e4 just queen to h1 is a checkmate so the position was that much bad for white here so after bishop takes h5, rook c to f8 was played here, then the Magnus plays the most logical move attacking on the queen side with b5 here. And then Ivanchuk played f4 counter attacking just e takes f5, then b takes f5. As g pawn is pinned here, now we have queen to e1 and then we have bishop takes g3. Then we have f takes g3 and then we have rook to f1 here. And here Magnus plays a blunder and after that queen to d2 Ivanchuk play a very jumpy move here with queen to g1 and the famous jump and Magnus design here because he is getting checkmated here after king to h3 just queen to h1 check as rook is covering whole the g file here though queen to h2 is forced here then just brilliant bishop to f5 then you have to block with the bishop and just Bishop takes g for the checkmate. So this was for the video. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel to show your love and support.